So this is the trade that um, I discerned, let's say, um, last week, <coughs> where I just look for straight lines in the market, whether it's a straight line upwards or a straight line sideways. A uh, straight line upwards if we start over here, this is a straight line upwards and a straight line sideways that I can see. Uh, let me just put a line to show upwards. So there's pretty straight line, good straight line up, and here's one across. So from here to there to there. I see this is a straight line. So I'm going to take this out. So you can see this point here reacted to something over there, uh, which reacted to this, which probably reacted to something there. So I see this is a flip zone, straight line, you can say. So I want to determine <coughs> what's happening inside here. So this point has reacted to something in there, and what I would do is uh, I'd go into a smaller time frame and determine exactly what it was in there that it had reacted to, which is probably something like that, which means that where this decides to cut back down through the straight line is significant to me. Uh, and also as significant is that when price came back to there, it dropped off pretty well. Um, so it broke, it came along, it, um, it broke these, this low here with that and it dropped. It shows, it basically shows that there's strong selling there, of course. So you want to watch what's happening when it's coming back to these areas and there's specific places you want to look. The places you want to look are <clears throat> the decision that broke this, which is in here. What happened when price came back to that decision and we see here that it dropped pretty hard. And then you want to look inside where it dropped to see if there's a particular place where uh, you see more straight lines, if you like. Um, and this one looks quite nice because you can see even on this half hour chart, there's a lot of up and down, pretty hard moves in there. Um, so there was some fighting going on, um, as opposed to something that's kind of mishy and mushy like that. I mean, this is straight line in here, but there's a lot of kind of, you know, it's not, it's not as clean as this. Um, so <clears throat> keeping that in mind and knowing that as time went by, um, it's something like 7 o'clock, it was 7 or 8 p.m. UK time in the US, there was going to be somebody from the Fed getting up and talking and I don't care what he said or uh, what people think he was going to say or the consequences of what he said are supposed to be, I just know there's someone going to talk. So what I do is I look for an area where their talking is likely to uh, either make price move to that area or move away from it if it gets there. Um, and look, at, so I, what I do is I go back in time. So he's going to talk sometime in the future here. So I'm thinking, what's price going to come up to? So it's already gone past all of this stuff here. Um, it's already gone past this here, which is, you see all these reactions there. So I, if you go back in time, you see this nice move up, along and down. So you've got a rally a base along the top and then a drop down from there. So what I did was I went to have a look inside that. So uh, it's, let me just mark it in with, with this, uh, this box so we can go into a lower time frame and have a look at it. And when I went into the lower time frame, <clears throat> I saw this nice move up and then these points here where it's uh, repeatedly try to break back down and it's gone back down again. So you see this nice move up, straight line across and straight line down. And that says to me, this is really somewhere where um, either big money or the crowd or whatever it is, this is where price is really quite likely to react when it comes back up here. So um, what I did was I waited uh, until it comes back up. So let's just skip forwards in time back onto our half hour scale so you can you can see it comes up 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 and up and as it hits it um, go down a lower time frame to see what happens when it comes back up and good healthy drive up here uh, and in here I think this is the point where he's talking but if you go into the one minute chart you'll see there's a nice uh, point here where price drives up, it pauses here, and off it goes again. And there there it comes into this zone we've predefined. 
and then what we're looking for is where it breaks back out of that zone. <clears throat> if it breaks back out of that zone, how it does it, and then we're waiting to act on uh, um, the uh, the person talking or whatever they're saying. I mean, so you're not acting on what what they're saying or the person talking. It's just a timing event, basically. So what you can do uh, if you're if you're pretty confident about this is you just place a limit order to sell just down here, just knowing that this zone looks pretty good for a reaction. Or you wait for a confirmation, um, which in this case, um, but the way I would look at it is uh, if this, this feature here is broken downwards, and I can only do that in, with my kind of uh, internal way I look at things, um, if it's actually this point here, because this is where, um, to my eyes, this is where this drive up has finished and it started to kind of move like this and then even up here it comes back and tests this so this is not particularly clean. So I'd like to see that broken, which actually happens along here. So then I'm thinking, yep, okay, that's a confirmation that it's going short. So you've got this, this area here, which has actually held price up. Price has come up, it's come into our zone, it's dropped back down here, just pretty much right on and that is reacting, that actually is reacting to this point here. Um, let me just put that in so you can see what I mean. It's exactly this point. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay, don't know what's going on there. So exactly that point there is what this reacts to on this side. Uh, and then it comes back down a couple of times and then it breaks down through there. So now I'm waiting for whatever, whatever talking is going to happen to drive it back up to somewhere nice up here where I've seen a strong move down. So if I'd seen a spike from here uh, or right up to the very top, um, that's where I'd look to, to short. And you can see that it does just that. If you're looking for a further confirmation, you have this drop, which breaks right down below all this for sure. It's a really strong move showing that that's how the market is reacting to this guy talking. It's, it's going to go downwards. <coughs> it comes back back up and that's your next chance to short there or alternatively you know you can you can see the spike but you see it's it's not uh, this is not going to go up so that's how uh, how uh, that played out and it's all just it's just there to see it comes yes it comes back again but then you're you're already out at your your um, first target for this is really down here uh, let me zoom out yeah, so you've seen all this happening, it's driving up, driving up, and you see it come down. And that's really where you, this uh, this um, source, if you like, of the drive up, that's where you take your first, or all, your position out. Um, and because this is such a strong move down, it's really somewhere that you can feel comfortable, comfortable looking for another short up here. And you're short from up there, this is going to be its target. Or you can hold all the way down to the bottom of, uh, this drive up here. So there's only really two target points in here. It's there and there. And you can see, that's indeed, it came back up and then down. Uh, and this in itself is actually quite a good place to look again for another short, believe it or not. Um, and there was a good one this, uh, this morning. Um, if you look in at how price reacted in here, closer in. Um, there's some nice nice stuff going on there where price is held up here and then it breaks down from this point. And this is quite nice. There's a little fight in here where it's come up, it's had to, had to think and dropped. Um, so I would mark in this point here. And look for uh, look for shorts around there too. And sure enough this morning it shot up there. And the reason I was looking back there for shorts is because I saw, this is where you can see the fractal nature of all this, I saw this uh, straight line here where price is coming along and bouncing off this. Um, and I thought, well, I'm looking for it to break down here and then come back up or to spike up before it drops. Um, and that's that's really all, all you need to look for. Uh, I'm far better at looking this stuff for shorts, but with the way markets are just now, looking for shorts is kind of thing, the thing to do. I think.
that's probably enough for now.